log 13. Hey guys, it's Adam and Jay with the AeroWorks Workshop and today, uh, happy Friday to you. We're going to be talking about something that's uh, real important when you're flying your drones and that is calibrations. Yes. Now, many of you are probably excited and waiting for your new DJI Mavic. We are. We've got some on order. Uh, and you may have also noticed that recently in one of the forums, somebody posted a pretty long and in-depth video on the Mavic and a crash that he had. And the gentleman seemed like he knew what he was talking about, but we wanted to talk a little bit about how important calibrations are when you're flying your drone. And this doesn't matter really what brand it is. It could be 3DR, it could be DJI, Unique, whatever. Uh, the most important thing to remember is that these things are built in China. Right. They're shipped overseas, probably to the West Coast, shipped back across the country. They're kicked around by the shipping companies. They go from hot or cold. And it's very important that you calibrate those sensors inside the unit. Every copter, essentially the autopilot or the auto leveling system, has something called an IMU or an inertial measurement unit. That's that little sensor that has all of the other little smaller sensors on it, like the gyroscope and the accelerometers and things, things that you have in your, your mobile device. Um, but it's very important. Those things are very temperamental and they can be affected by things like shock, like hot or cold temperatures, like vibration, all things that happen when you ship UPS or FedEx. Um, or even driving in your car. Even driving, yeah, you may have calibrated uh, uh, on your workbench and then you went out and uh, threw it in the back of your pickup truck and the case bounced all around, maybe it was in the sun for a while. So it's very important that you calibrate not only the IMU, the compass, which in all modern drones is actually called a magnetometer, it's an electronic compass, as well as a radio calibration. Now, what's a radio calibration, Jay? A radio calibration is you go in and you want to make sure that you have the right mode. Right. In the US here, we're in mode two, and in Europe and I believe Australia and China, it's mode one, so your right. throttle and your rudder is on the right side opposed to the left side. Right, and I've actually had times where I did an update on a Phantom, a uh, new firmware update, right. And all of a sudden, uh, when I went into that, that uh, radio calibration, that mode was checked to something else. So essentially, my radio while it was connected and it was actually taking inputs, those sticks were opposite from what I'm used to. So throttle would have been on the right, which would have been pitched for me, and it would have been all messed up. So it's important. Firmware, sometimes when they push those firmware updates out to you, uh, sometimes they actually will you know, it'll just erase all the settings of the radio or the software, and you need to go back in. Not only do you need to calibrate the IMU, calibrate the compass, outdoors of course, calibrate the radio, and then go through all your settings. Your Things menu. like return to home. Absolutely. The gentleman who crashed the Mavic, we don't know all the circumstances, but if you're flying around trees that are 60 feet high, you probably should make sure that your return to home is set to something like 75 feet or even higher. So it's important to check all those settings each time you do that. Um, now, real quick, you probably see something huge on the table here. We want to talk about this. This is a, uh, a 700 size traditional heli. This is a scale heli. We also do a lot of other flying for fun. This is one of my personal projects here. Jay's got helicopters similar to this. Uh, we wanted to throw that out there that there's not just drones. Everybody thinks of drones as being, you know, the quadcopters, but we fly all kinds of stuff. So this is a real fun project. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos on that. Um, and what else have we been doing? We've been doing a lot on 107, and we you had a chance to, to yeah, review some chance, courses. I did. I had a chance to review the Gold Seal drone training course, and I actually used it in my 107, along with Prepware, uh, some of our videos, which were really good, and um, Adam's books from his private pilot license. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, I use a variety of stuff. For me, being a little older, I need more visual. Visual. And talking to me because when I read something I read it and I read it and then I'm, I go back and I'm like what did I just read right and, and the I'll, gold seal was good with the video yeah the gold seal I liked it because it would go through the whole thing telling you and showing you and then it would stop and it'd have a study thing where you could study and you could study it as long as you wanted I was taking pictures with my phone right. so then I could just go back and study it sure. and then you go on to the next lesson and you can do a nice little quiz so I believe that, yeah, Gold Seal, it really, it helped. Yeah, and I know, I, luckily for me, I, I was already a Part 61 pilot, so I didn't have to go and do the test like Jay did, the harder test, I had the easier way. Wow, but I still, I was able to check it out as well, and the, the content is excellent, it's taught by 
again, real pilots, real FAA Absolutely. instructors. So you're gaining the knowledge from guys that have been in the aviation world a long time. So there's a lot of great information, especially if you need help with things like weather, sectionals, and, yeah, that's, and the, the regulation stuff right. that you need That's to know. where it really helped me on that type of stuff, being able to hear the, the different clouds and, right. and all that stuff. And it, it for me, it was something that really helped me out. Right, you know? and, you, and it's self-paced, you know, it's on your own exactly. computer. You watch it as you need to. You go through it, uh, and you go through the sections that you need the most help with, versus just reading black and white in a book. For me, like Jay, I'm a visual person too. Yeah. I know when I was doing my private pilot, I had 50 books. I had every video and book out there. So use whatever works best for you. But we'll put a link down below to the Gold Seal UAV course and uh, definitely check it out. Very uh, great support from those guys, and it seems like right. it's a really great yeah, course. Yeah, it, it it really helped a lot. I was very much appreciative of. Good help from them. So. so guys, that's it for today. Short vlog. We're trying to keep them quick. And uh, let us know. We want to get your feedback too. Uh, you know, anytime you guys think you want to see a new topic, you want to talk about a new aircraft, we've got a lot of stuff in the works, a lot of projects that are halfway done. We're working on finishing up around our busy commercial uh, work, but uh, stay tuned for those. We'll put some links down below to other things that we're working on. But for now, I think we're done with today's vlog and this week. So blue skies and fly safe. Fly safe. We'll see you next time, guys.